Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CBB Nets video series on binary search tree related questions and this is about finding the largest binary search tree in a given binary tree. So this is your binary tree here and if you see the largest binary sub tree, I mean binary search tree or sub binary search tree is this one here. 20 is greater than 15 and 25 is less than 20. So this can be any big number like if you can have 27 here or maybe 26 here so even this is again a binary search tree so you have to give the number like how many nodes are there which are actually forming a binary search tree so here it is 5 so the return of the function would be 5 so this is the job so let me tell you how I'll do that and now you'll realize that okay using a right tool at right moment makes a very big difference so you might be already knowing that how to use a uh, post order traversal but it is not that easy to click like okay you can use a post order traversal here and you can really solve this problem using post order traversal so let me tell you how we'll use this post order traversal to solve this problem we know already if you don't know what is post order traversal i recommend going and reading about that and i have a video for that okay so basically you can search post order traversal space cpp nerds you'll get that video so why post order traversal because you will process this particular node, meaning print or do any operation on this node. Once you are done with this whole left and right hand side of this subtree, and this is true for each and every node, meaning you will process any node once the left and right subtrees of those, I mean that node is already processed. And that's what you need here. See, let's suppose we'll see the success scenario here. You can only say that okay this is exactly a binary search tree by returning something like yes it is true and from here also like yeah it is true and then you have to take the decision that okay this is also saying that I am subset or I am a binary search tree and this is also telling that okay I am a binary search tree then you can take the decision here so that's why it plays a very important role here because in post order you complete left and right first and then you process the actual route. So let me tell you quickly like how we'll do that and then I'll just show you the code and all. So we know post order traversal right you you must be knowing what is this left R and P. So left R and P is for post order. Left meaning first you will process left and then you will process right and then you will process yourself. Okay, so we'll apply this LPR at each and every node. So we'll come here. So we have to go to left from here to here and then from here to here and then there is a structure you will return from here to here back saying that yes, I am returning true because each and every single node is kind of a true because it is a binary search tree if there is only one node. So all leaf nodes will always return true. So true and the size of the subtree is one. And the min, there will be two positions here, this one and this one. So you will return min here. Min is also 15 for this and max is also, let's suppose, 15. Okay? Because we have only one number here. So this data will actually go to this guy, 20. Okay? But then from here, we'll go to here because we are not going to process this 20 now. We'll process this 25. And similarly, this 25 will also return this data. It will say, okay, I am a binary search tree. Yes, it is true. And the node size is one i mean collectively there is only one node and minimum is 25 and max is also 25 like this you will return from here to here it is very easy i'll use some data structure uh, like struct data and inside that we can have is binary search tree um, size of the tree minimum maximum all that stuff right so you will return this data structure from here to here now you have both the data structure available at this 20 what you will do, you will verify these things. Okay, I have received two true from here. I have received two from here, meaning there is a chance that we can form a binary search tree. But, but I said that there is a chance. It is possible that this 20 is not coming in between 15 and 25. Maybe this is 40. So then in that case, this is not going to be a binary search tree. Okay, so we'll receive this content from here and this one from here. And then we have to verify if both are true, meaning I can verify myself 20, 
is in between 15 and 25. So I will check this 20 with the maximum of this one and minimum of this one. So yes, 20 is in between maximum of this which is 15 and minimum of this which is 25. So this time this 20 will return from here to 30. It will be like true and then this time correct. We will have 1 plus 1. So we will add this one and this one plus 1 which is this 20. So this is like 3 and correct. Now we have to return minimum and maximum out of these three. So minimum is 15 and maximum is 25. Correct. So we'll return this number. I mean this data structure to 30 now and then 30 will actually go from here to here and from here to here because we, we, we cannot go from here to here. So basically it will return zero. So you will not process that. We can go from here to here and then this guy will return true and one and 12 comma 12. So this 19 will take the decision based on what it would have received from here because there is nothing here. So we can assign. So let me write this. So we'll return true here and we will say number of nodes are like zero and we can return here int min from here. So I'll just simply write the short form here M I N and we can return integer max, sorry, max here. So max here and min here. So this is integer max and this is an integer min. And let me tell you why it is minimum uh, integer max and min here because this position is for minimum and this position, I mean this position is for max. Okay. So this is for min and this is for max, but I'm saying that here I will put integer max and here I will put integer min. Okay. Because when there is no node here, then this should not be considered for taking any decision. That's why in case of comparison, you will compare this place because this is for maximum, right? So you will try to compare this result, which is this one, and you will try to compare at this place. And this is storing integer minimum, minimum possible number. So whatever this place would be, will always be greater than this. So this condition will always be true. Okay, so you don't have to worry about this place here. That's why we are returning this value. Okay, we are returning true because we do not want, I mean, we want to consider this as a true condition because if there is null here, then it doesn't participate that whether it is a binary search tree or not. It is always true. We can consider this place as empty and still this can be a binary search tree. What I mean is if there is only this like 20 and 25, if this is the only tree, then this is a binary search tree. So, if there is nothing in the left, it won't participate in the con conclusion. Okay. So this is going to return here and we have got this one. Now you have to check is this 19 is coming in between minimum of this and maximum of this. So for maximum, it will be true that okay, 19 is greater than integer minimum. But in this case, we're looking for this 12 should be greater than 19. This is false. So from here, you will return false and then zero and it doesn't matter like you will return zero and zero. So the moment it sees that, okay, I'm getting this true from left hand side and false from right hand side, it will take the decision to just push this here. So this will go from here and this will be just nullified. Okay. So this whole tree is containing a binary search tree of size three nodes. Yeah. So this is how your code would look like. Just don't mind this portion here. We, it, it came with a screenshot and this is how your data would look like. I was telling, right? You will return a true, false and all size, min and max. So this is how your data would look like. Initially you will pass, let's suppose 30 here. And if you consider this tree, so this root is not null. So we'll go ahead and see, this is how you write a post or a traversal, right? First you go to the left and then you go to the right. And then in the bottom, you process the node after completing left and right of each and every node. So you will come to this line only when you are done with the selected node. So because of this line, you will go from here to here, here to here. Okay. And then you will try to go far further. But then in that case, root will return this data. And here, let's suppose the constructor for this struct or class is like it will return true for this guy and zero for this guy and minimum will be integer max and max will be integer min. This is the default construction. Okay. So you'll return this data, meaning 
you will return true zero integer max and integer min for this for this i mean so you got the live left data and then you will go for the right data for this guy and you will try to go to this place and you will get the similar data from here to here so actually you will have true comma zero comma max and min from here and from here you will have the same thing true zero max and min and this is for negative checking whether it is false case or not so see we'll check left data is binary search is equal to equal to false meaning if you are returning false from here let's suppose take let's take the consideration for this one so if you're getting false from here then there is no way that you can say yourself that okay i am a root of a binary search tree no you will return false only because you have re uh, received false from either of these two places okay so that's what we are checking false here for left data and false here for the right data okay and if both are returning true then see this is our condition so if this is false then we'll go for this one if this is also false then we'll try to go to this one so here left max should be less than root value to be true but we are keeping it max here so that you can check whether it is a false condition and similarly this guy writes minimum should be greater than but we are checking for less than equal to so this whole thing is for negative checking and if this passes and you reach at this location it means you have received true from left and right both the places then in that case you will create or i mean you already have created a data member you'll say this is also binary search tree now we are talking about this 15 here okay so this is also binary search tree yes it is true and size is left size plus right size plus one so you're considering this zero plus zero plus one one for yourself okay and min is going to be 15 only if roots left is null pointer so obviously it is a null pointer so we'll put 15 for min and 15 for max okay because it is a leaf condition if it is not then we will consider whatever we received from respective left and right tree i mean subtree and you will return c m from here so now from here to here what we'll receive is something like this true and then size is like 0 plus 0 plus 1 so 1 and then 15 comma 15 this is what you get here and you know how post order traversal work right like you will now go from here to here and do the same thing for this guy and return from here and then as i explained you previously you will have to check whatever you received from this guy and this guy and you have to find that i am coming in between these two okay and this is where we are checking that in between case like it is possible that both are returning true so this will not be caught here but you are checking that in between case here so that's it thanks for watching bye bye take care